Hello, so yesterday I went to the Extra Life fundraiser at the local gaming store, one of our two local gaming stores. Actually, there's a new one, I guess, at the mall, but I've never been to it, so it still doesn't exist to me. I've just heard about it. Um, but I went to that, and it what, what it was was it was a 25-hour event because of daylight savings time ending or beginning. I, I think probably beginning, maybe ending, though. Um, it, it would have been 24 hours. It started at 8 on Saturday and ended at 8 on Sunday, but because of the daylight savings time, it essentially ended at 9 on Sunday. Anyway, uh, the idea, it's kind of like a walkathon, except people play board games for a really long time instead. Um, I was there for about 12 hours on Saturday. I wasn't part of really any of the charity stuff. I did donate. Uh, the Extra Life thing, near as I could tell, they give video games to people who don't have video games. So good enough, I guess. Um, and I could see how that could really give one focus in their life if they don't have focus to have a video game. Um, but I went for the gaming primarily. Um, on the way there, it was a nice fall day. I rode on the bike trail like I usually do. I'm fortunate enough to have a bike trail that goes pretty much from my house all the way to the gaming store. Um, so there's lots of leaves. And on the way, I wrote a song. Uh, and so I'll sing that to you right now. It's a theme song. Origins, how we became human. Let's feel what's in your heart. Origins, how we became human. We can guess where we end. Let's see where we start. Discover how we came to grow to what we now believe. Play along and you may someday know how we came to be human. So I did that. Um, when I got there, I wrote the words down. And then I played a game of innovation. Two player, not the green box one. I did the blue box one, blue and brown, um, which was a lot of fun. A very different sort of game of innovation than I've played before, um, which is, I think, speaks highly for the game in that uh, you can, I've played many, many times Innovation, but um, this one kind of had a very different dynamic than I've seen before. Uh, I used this card called Water Wheel and I got super lucky and it, I don't know, it, it was just, it was interesting, it was fun. Um, the, the big meat of the, the day for me was Cuba Libre and I'll probably spend most of my time talking about this because it was, uh, it was a, there was a, it was a very interesting game in an, in, in an interesting setting. So I've played Cuba Libre, Libre several times now, uh, but it's always been at my house um, with, with people who I invite over to play Cuba Libre. So this is my first time in, a, in kind of a more public setting. Um, so that had its own dynamic. One, so the, the fellow I, I play with, I've played with multiple times, who played with me there, he was very tired, uh, but he was definitely game. He played the government. I um, also had another person, person who played Innovation with me play. And then the rest of the cast um, of players rotated out. So how it started, we had five people playing. We had two people paired. Um, and the government was doing really well. So I said to the people, hey, the government's a lot of trouble. We need to take them down. And so the people really took that to heart. <laughs> and the government just got pretty much taken out of the game and that's that was one interesting thing that happened because that's never happened before in my experience with these games usually it's like everyone's kind of in the running until the end but the government was just neutered so um, that did two things that that's interesting one it created a, a neat story I think where you know the Cuban government toppled and then kind of there was this sort of anarchy where the guerrilla, guerrilla factions were struggling to see who you know got to end up taking over. Um, to add to that anarchy, people had to leave, and then we got more people to play, um, which brings up another interesting thing. People picked up the game pretty well. Uh, you know, players dropped in, never having played the game or probably anything like it before, except that they played board games. And they were able to cotton to the rules and kind of get what they are supposed to do, start negotiating, dealing, doing all of that. Um, pretty pretty quick and that was I, th I think that was a big positive big negative was how the government player <laughs> the person you know although it was a good story um, 
what happens to that player. I mean, that because the game also took a really long time, partially because we, you know, we're in a distracted setting, right? This is a busy game store. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, people had their biological needs. And then also we kept changing players. Um, not a lot, but enough so that, you know, we had to take time to reintroduce the game to people as we were playing. So it was very long. So the government player had this really long game where they were pretty much, you know, impotent and could do anything for most of the game. Uh, I would say maybe the second half. Uh, part of the reason is we, we just destroyed their economy so they didn't have any money. Uh, and that made it really hard for them to come back. I mean, there was a po I played the 26th of July, and there was a point where I had uh, Havana in active, active opposition, which if you know anything about the game, Havana is really hard to do that with. <laughs> um, but I was able to do it, um, maybe in part because the, the players were shifting too, so they didn't really check me there until towards the end. Um, but it, it ended up kind of neck and neck between the three Korea factions for the rest of the game. But um, So that was interesting. So some, some interesting points there. Uh, the fact that people could, and these are people who normally play Euro games, things like that, maybe some thematic, thematic games uh, as well. But nothing like this, I don't think. Um, so... Yeah, really, really potent narrative. I feel bad for the person who uh, played the government. Um, I purchased the game there as sort of a thank you to the store and also because I've been kind of interested in this game, Flowerfall. Um, it fits, I think, a good niche for me. Uh, I, I think I can pull it out with the kids I work with and with the wife and with anyone. Really quick, very easy to learn. Um, if you don't know the game, you, you have like a field of green flowers and then you're dropping your kind of your colored flowers, so it could be purple or red or anything that's not green. Um, and these are cards; they're not just flowers. Uh, and to try to uh, gain control of those fields. So, what you're doing when you drop a card is you you know change the fields based on what it covers up and what it links together. And then whoever has the most um, of their color in a field uh, takes control of that field. So. Um, yeah, I, I played a game of that. It was fun. And I'll probably play a game of that again. So that was the extra life. Uh, oh, and then this, so I left at, I left after 12 hours and then I went back this morning at, at, at 8 just to see the tired people. And there were still five people there, uh, two of which had been there the whole 25 hours. Um, and that was, that was interesting sort of, sort of thing. So gaming's live and well, live and alive and well in Olympia, Washington. And uh, pretty cool event.